So for the repeater setup, I'm basically going off of this kind of setup here, the ad hoc repeater, where I have the likes in, in the middle set up to receive on 146.565 and transmit on 446.100. So my unit A and unit B are gonna be two of my Beofeng radios here, UV82. And basically here's how I set it up in the software. So this is the likes in. The only way I could get this to work is if I had the same information on channel A and channel B. So the first row here, you see the receive frequency is 146565. I kept all of the tones off just for simplicity's sake for the moment. And the transmit frequency set to 446.100, right? Basically whatever was on the website that I showed you. Well, let, let me show you this. So the channel alias, this is just the name of the channel, right? Uh, repeater TE, repeater test, basically is what I named it right now just to kind of test it. Repeater TX and repeater RX. So TX transmit, RX receive. So the repeater TX is the 446, 1000 or 100. And then the repeater receiver uh, frequency is 146.565. I just put these in here as added information in case I ever want to kind of use those. But I'm just going to stay on this channel here repeater TE. So I copied whatever I wrote here on channel A over to channel B so that both channels on the radio will have the same information. And here's what it looks like. So the top channel, repeater test, and channel B, repeater test. So A and B are both going to be set to the same. If I only just had it one way, it wasn't working right. So when I key up on a Beofeng here, you should see then a and B have a signal bar of some sort here. So let me show you this, how it works. Now these are my Beofeng chirp settings right here. The repeater transmit frequency that I'm gonna transmit from the Beofeng to the repeater. So the repeater receives on that. And then the repeater receive frequency, which is the frequency that the likes in or the repeater will transmit back to the Beofeng, which is what I will be receiving on. So just those two channels set up just to hopefully you understand or name them whatever makes sense to you, but that makes sense to me. So just to show you how this works, this Beofeng radio over here is gonna be what I'm gonna to use to make contact with the repeater. So I'm gonna transmit on 146.565, which is what the repeater or the likes and will receive. And I just made it simple here. So both of them are on the same channel, 124, just one is named and one is just so you can see that what frequency I'm talking about. And then on the other one is gonna be the repeating receive repeater receive frequency i just put on channel 125 uh, but that'll be receiving frequency from 446 100 which is what the likes in is going to transmit on so hopefully that makes sense now this was the only way i could get it to work in this repeater button that you were telling me about is to have obviously the repeater test on repeater channel basically working on channel a and b so that it can work both ways here so we're going to key up here as you see test 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 the likes in is lit up and you can see over here that the receive radio is picking up the audio from the likes in now to prove that i wasn't faking anything this is on tx as you can see and this is on rx both bail things are on completely different frequencies so we know for sure the likes in is doing its job it's receiving from my handheld on the left here and it's going to transmit to this bail thing over here now, what'll be neat is if you switch this, if you have dual watch on your radios, for example, this does. And for example, you know, channel one, one two, two five, five is my receive. So, okay, one, two. let's go back here to the bottom. One, two, As you five. can see on the right, one, two, four is my transmit. One, two, five was the receive, which I showed you here. Then, and you have dual PTTs. So you can always use both radios to receive and talk on. You just have to know what the frequencies are for the repeater that you set up, but then that should work pretty neat that way. So I got it set up. Hopefully that answers some questions for you. I also did not have to do anything with this setting here. This setting is just to clarify basically if you wanna use UHF to VHF on your repeater setup or VHF to UHF or both or bi-directional, which I just left it like this and it worked just fine. But just so you know, I am going from VHF 146 to UHF 446.1. I guess I didn't try that, just that specific setting. Because I guess if you put it, keep it in the default setting, it'll work either way, U to V or V to U.